Hey everybody, I know it's been a while. I'm in the exact same boat that the rest of the world's in. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. So I'm noticing a trend on Facebook right now that everybody's doing a little blast from the past. So uh, what I decided to do was uh, I was on a team called Shadow Squad. This team started probably about oh, 15 years ago or longer now. Uh, show my age a little bit. Uh, but we did videos all the time too, like this actually. I had a YouTube channel for that team and we used to do commercials and all the funny things that you used to do way back then, like 11, 12, 13 years ago and all the big game videos that you did to get everybody all pumped up and talking trash. So uh, I thought I'd break out a couple old gems right now. I think I'm gonna keep doing this just for right now because uh, as we all know, uh, paintball's on hold pretty much the world's on hold right now so uh it's good for a, a good for a laugh so the first video i'm going to show you is the jt flex 8 the full mask the full helmet ones they're they're still out there uh that we did uh we had just got sponsored by flag swipe paintball uh, this is 11 years old so the video quality sucks uh the editing well it sucks too uh but it's just funny so uh have a look at this hey everybody it's that guy from shadow squad we're a woods ball team in london ontario today i'm going to show you the latest addition to the jt flex family the new Spectra Flex 8. The one I'm showing you today is the full head. Uh, the full head one comes in uh, two different colors. I'm showing you the black and gray one right here. It comes in woodland camo as well, uh, so you can hide in the bush better. Uh, also for the regular mask, it comes in the black and gray, the woodland camo, and all the regular speedball colors, uh, red, there's red, there's yellow, there's blue, it's got the, the other style green, so there's the full, there's the full sideway view of the full face one. One of the good features that I like about this full face one is unlike the other full face, they tend to fog up a fair bit because there's not a lot of ventilation. Uh, this Flex 8, all of us on Shadow Squad, there's six of us. We all wear them. We've had no problems whatsoever with them fogging up. As you can see, there is plenty of ventilation on the sides, and there's tons on the top. So far, we've had zero problems with them fogging. So, this mask still takes the Vortex 2 fan, just like the other JT Flex 8 does. Uh, there's still plenty of room. If you do happen to purchase one of these, and you don't like the top, Top's easy to come off. There's only, I think it's uh, three little rivets holding it on. Just cut them off, pops right off. Then you got the regular old mask. So uh, I like about this mask too. You have the flexibility still, but you can also keep the structural at the same time. Still can take a hit. It doesn't hurt you, but it still stays flexible so nothing's digging into you whatsoever. Very cool, slick looking mask. These masks fit great to your head. They don't stick up like the other Spectras. They're a lot harder and they're uh, wider and bigger. This one fits perfect to your head. So we've had no problems whatsoever with them fogging. You can get all the replacement lenses that you want for these ones. You can get all the replacement straps, customize this mask whichever way you want, however you want. Uh, so you don't have to take my word for it. You don't believe us uh, see shadow squad we're at the t-series we're at day of the dead uh, we're about the only team out there with uh, urban camel on the white urban camel uh, we have jt written all over us we're also two of the ones wearing the flag spike shirts one of the teams wearing flag spike shirts so to pick up your own visit uh, flag swipe 529 Phillips street in london ontario if you can't make it there in person visit their online store at buypaintball.ca Pick yours up today, on sale now. 
like Swipe Paintball, and online at buypaintball.ca. It's always funny looking back seeing how young you were way back when and how naive and everything and I wasn't getting into the sport then I had already been in the sport for a while but it was uh, first big sponsorship so doing that video was a really really big deal for me at the time because it was uh, showcasing a product that we one of the f well it was showcasing the first sponsorship that we had as a team for Shadow Squad so the second video I'm going to show you, it's from nine years ago. The video quality is a little bit better. Uh, I was actually sick prior to this video, so you'll see a definitely change in, uh, in weight gain. I think I weighed less than 100 pounds on it. I had an infection in my mouth, so uh, that brings back some memories too, not good ones. But uh, take a look at this. This is from nine years ago, and it's the SA-17 BT pistol when it first came out. It was another uh, review video that I did for Flag Swipe. So have a look at that. Hey everybody, it's that guy from Shadow Squad in London, Ontario. Today to show you the latest addition to the BT family, which is the BT SA-17 pistol. Uh, this has been the much anticipated pistol. Everybody was wondering what it would look like. What would BT do with the pistol? Well, they've answered our questions. Here it is. Uh, the biggest thing that you'll notice right off the bat compared to other pistols, this pistol has a fair bit of weight to it. But the good part about it is, is it's very well balanced. Uh, it's made out of aluminum, milled aluminum. So you drop it, it's not going to break. There's not too many plastic parts on it. So it's pretty good. It's not magazine fed. It's fed in at the top. Uh, the other thing, most magazine fed pistols are 8 shots. This one's 10. Um, it's just like most of the other, like PCS had, where they're just slides in the back, loads at the top. Uh, one of the good features though about this, this comes off and you can slide any BT other uh, feed neck onto it to replace it. It's very quick and easy and you can uh, go from 8 shots and stick a hopper on it. Me personally, throw the Pinocchio on there. So right off the get-go, this isn't loose so it's not going to work. Right off the get-go, you just went from 10 shots to 400 with the Pinocchio. Um, it has a quick change CO2 12 gram. Just goes in there, it pinches it, slap it shut, cock it at the back, you're ready to go out in the field. You got the velocity screw in the back. So it's very accessible. You don't really have to mess around too much about it. You set it, it's good to go, unlike the magazine ones where you gotta set every magazine to a certain one. It has all the screws and everything for it in the back that you can run an airline straight there, connect there, and hook a bottle up to it, you can run all day. Uh, they have uh, the fake suppressors to go out, but already this gun off the bat, right off the box, looks pretty mean. So that is the BTSA-17 pistol um, the other good key feature that they have about their for their ball loading is if you have other BT products like the BT TM7 slides on top as easy as can be just like that and now you got your TM7 turn it into a sniper rifle so you can go out in the field 10 shots with the TM7 a nice little sniper rifle with it that's one of the other key features is it can bounce back and forth between guns so pick yours up today btsa 17 on sale now at flag swipe paintball at 529 phillips street in london ontario also on sale at buypaintball.ca make sure you get yours today stay tuned as well uh, i'll bring the camera out in the field with me one day i'll show everybody how this shoots uh, so far the time i've had it out 112 gram I roughly went through about 50 paintballs and hadn't changed the CO2 canister. So it's pretty air sufficient. And you can drop it banging around. It's good to go. Buy yours today. Flag Swipe Paintball. Buy paintball.ca. See you out there.
Well, as you can see, a lot has changed since then and now. Getting old sucks, but it's uh, funny to look back, reminiscing. It's a lot of fun. So uh, this video is just just for fun, just to try to lift the spirits, lift the moods, the social distancing and everybody being kind of stuck in their houses and not really been able to go anywhere. I know everybody's starting to get cabin fever. Uh, so this is the past the time and to get us back to the paintball season. So I have about 23 or 24, probably more of these videos. I was thinking of doing two or three at a time. Yeah, this is something you guys are interested in. Make sure you comment down below. I had a lot of fun doing it, a lot of fun looking at these videos. So make sure that you comment below. Let me know if you want me to keep doing them or not. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button before you get offline so you can stay up to date with everything coming out of this channel. Make sure you guys stay healthy and wash your hands. And I will see you next video.